What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a highly anticipated tweak called OXO3. Now if you guys haven't been around the jailbreak game for very long, then maybe you haven't heard of OXO. If you've been around for you know the past two years, then you definitely have heard of OXO. It's a really awesome tweak. I highly recommend checking this out, especially OXO3. If you purchase OXO2, then you get a discount on OXO3 and it's actually only gonna be 99 cents. But let's go ahead and jump to the settings right here and I'm gonna show you everything that OXO3 has to offer. So we have three sections right here. First, the multi-center, and then we have the quick switcher, and we have the hot corners. Now I'm gonna show you these three sections first, and then we'll jump into the advanced options here. So first of all, the multi-center. All you have to do is swipe up. That's gonna give you the multi-center, as you can see. Now with the multi-center, it's giving you the app switcher right here, as well, as the control center right down here. Now you're probably asking yourself, well, where are the quick launch icons? Well, they're right down here too. All you have to do is just swipe up and you have your flashlight, your camera, calculator, everything like that. And you can also just swipe that back down. Now right over here, we have the brightness slider that we can swipe up and down right there, as well as the volume slider. As you can see, you can slide up and down right there. Now we have some other features that we can do with the brightness and volume slider, and I'll show you that here in just a second. But if you wanted to open up an application from this view, then you can obviously just tap on an app or you can just pull it down as you can see right there. Now this works on the app icon as well. As you can see, you can pull down right there. Now also we have the quick switcher. So if we swipe up from the bottom left hand corner, you can see that this is the quick switcher. Now the issue that I had with OXO2 is that this was very laggy, laggy enough to where I never actually used it. So I'm really happy to see that this is a whole lot smoother than it was previously, and I really look forward to using this in the future. Now we also have hot corners. So that was one hot corner right there with quick switcher. So if you disable hot corners, you're not gonna get quick switcher. Now the other hot corner is the bottom right hand corner. So if we swipe up right there, you can see that it actually closes out of that app, goes directly to the home screen right here. So that's hot corners basically. So now let's go ahead and tap on the settings and we're gonna go into the advanced options right here. So right up here at the top, we have reachable display. So if you remember OXO2, if, if you had OXO2, if you toggle that off and we swipe up here, you can see that we actually have the toggles right up here at the top, and then we have a smaller control center right down here. Now, this is obviously not very one-handed friendly, so that's why if you toggle on reachable display and we swipe up, you can see that it throws those toggles right down here at the bottom. Now if we go back in here, you also have the minimal display, which we can toggle off, and if we slide up, you can see that you actually have uh, your music scrolling through as well as your little scrubber right down there as well. Now you can also toggle on some other options right here. You can always have minimal display right there if we toggle that on, or you can toggle this off if there's no media playing. So when you have media playing, then it's going to show up. If you don't, then it's going to look just like that. Now right down here, you can always go to open the last app and you can see what that does. It centers the last app when accessing the multitasking display via the swipe up. So you can toggle that on as well. Uh, if we go down here to slider actions, we tap on that. You can see that for the brightness as well as the volume icon, you can actually set some actions if you tap on the, uh, on the actual you know, brightness or volume icon. So let's go ahead and tap this to set brightness to maximum and we'll also set volume to maximum. And then we swipe up and you can see, let's go ahead and slide this down as well as the volume. And then if we tap, you can see that it goes directly to the maximum brightness and directly to the maximum volume right there. So that's basically all that that does. Now, if we go down here, you can also toggle on album artwork. So you can see the auto display. You can uh, toggle this on for on play, on next, on previous, after one second, after three seconds, all the way up to eight seconds. So you can see if we go ahead and tack this on, Let's go ahead and play some music. And you can see that it's gonna show you that album artwork. So right down here, you can also close all applications. Now this is a really cool feature too. If we go ahead and go over to the home screen, you can see if we swipe up, you can close all applications just by swiping up on the home screen and then tapping close all applications, which I'm not gonna do. But you can go back here, you can auto close all apps. This is gonna remove the confirmation button so you're not gonna have that little X right there. You can also go home upon the close all. So right when you close everything, it's gonna go directly home to your home screen. You can also exclude the currently playing app if you wanna do that. That just basically means if you're playing music and you close out of all applications, it's not going to close out of whatever's playing music, so Pandora, or your music application. You can also exclude these uh, specific applications from being closed when you close all apps if you wanna do that down here. 
Now, if we go back here, we also have unlimited quick switcher. So you can see if we swipe up for the quick switcher that we have a finite amount of applications that we can scroll through, as you can see right there. But if we toggle this on, this is going to give us basically unlimited. So it's gonna show all of the applications running in the background, as you can see right there, and you can scroll all the way over. Now let's swipe back up here and go back to settings. And you can also access this on the home screen. So if you toggle that on, which I have it toggled on, you can slide further left in the quick switcher to go to the home screen. So basically if we swipe up and then we swipe to the left, then you can go to the home screen right there. Now normally that's not there if you had this toggled off. Now right down here you can also invert the hot corner, so that's basically going to invert the hot corners. So if we swipe up right here, this is going to bring up the quick switcher, and if we swipe up over here, then this is actually going to close out of the application. So that's basically how the uh, inverted hot corners work. Pretty self-explanatory. And we can also disable this in applications if you want to do that. And then right down here we also have Polis customization and configuration, which I'll get into in a different video just because I haven't installed the new Polis yet but that'll be uh, something separate. So if you wanna see a video on Polis and its integration with OXO3, then definitely hit that like button and make sure you subscribe for that video. So if we go back here, you'll also see that we have the creators, we have Sentry as well as Quizic. I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, they did an incredible job on this tweak. The performance is much, much better in OXO3 than it was in OXO2. It doesn't have a ton more uh, features that I would say we're groundbreaking in terms of its comparison to OXO2, but I will say its performance is much, much better. So let me know what you guys think about OXO3 in the comments below. Is this something you're going to be picking up? I know a lot of people jailbreak for this specific reason to download OXO. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.